Myron Cope died last week at the age of 79. He was an original, a Hall of Famer. He was a true legend, perhaps the most colorful color commentator a stadium broadcast booth ever met. Pittsburgh Steelers fans will say he was the best they ever heard. Some of you sports fans may have never heard of Myron Cope, but no doubt most are familiar with a host of vernacular he made standard in the lexicon of pro football. The bus, gorillas, gorillas, oi and double oi, and of course, the terrible towel. All originating from the mind and mouth of one Myron Cope over a 35-year broadcast career. As a sports broadcasting historian, I am compelled to comment on the passing of this epic figure. A humble man who started as a writer, brave enough to leave a Pittsburgh newspaper in the early 60s and venture off into the world of freelance. You'll starve out there, as editor screamed. You'll be back within two weeks. Sports Illustrated and the Saturday Evening Post, among other assignments, kept Cope busy enough to stay away from the daily rags for good. By 1970, radio came calling. The hometown Steelers hired him and his creative wordage to sit next to play-by-play -play man Jack Fleming and mix it up on the air. What they created was broadcast history. Now, I've always prided myself in my work as going deeper, going beyond the obvious, the tried and true, and reveal the fervent human side of sports announcing. A field of celebrity that sadly goes undervalued and underappreciated in this writer's opinion. I certainly knew of Myron Cope and heard his ear-twisting work on several occasions, but sadly, I never met the man. Thankfully, I did know someone who did. When Jack Fleming retired in 1994, Bill Hillgrove became the Steelers' new play-by-play -play voice. And for the next 11 seasons, between shared hotel rooms, the rubber chicken circuit, and countless on-air conversations, 